and take mom with you. Don't forget, if you're looking for somewhere to take her on Sunday, how about the Mother's Day brunch in Kohler? We recently paid a visit to Chef Richard Palm at the American Club, who is sharing one of his recipes. It's white chocolate orange panna cotta. It's a lovely thing. Panna cotta is an Italian dessert. It literally means cooked cream. And what we've done first, let's start first. I have the cream, which is four cups of heavy cream on the fire. It has to come almost to a boil. I have my two packets of Knox gelatin unflavored and my half cup of water. And what I'm going to plan on doing with that is just softening that. Mix it just a little to moisten it and leave that for about two minutes just to soften. Meanwhile, my cream is cooking and as you can see it's starting to shiver which means it's almost there and the skin has formed so at this point not important to boil it but I'm going to take it off and what I'm going to do is take my Boyajian orange oil not orange extract orange oil which is natural and put in about a half of a teaspoon into the four cups of heavy cream and I'm going to whisk that to disperse it and once that's dispersed, I can add my four ounces of white chocolate chopped and my fourth of a cup of granulated sugar. Now I'm going to whisk that as well until it's all dissolved. The, the white chocolate doesn't, is, is not really overly intrusive. It's more to add richness and depth. So, and then now we're going to put some of this hot cream into the gelatin. Like that, just to temper it. And then we're going to put the gelatin, which will help melt it, back into the bowl and whisk that. Now at this point, all we need to do is to place it into something that we feel comfortable about pouring with. Don't fill it all the way to the top, about halfway. If you have to do it twice, that's okay. And then we're just going to take some, this is what's referred to as a footed rocks glass. You let it come to room temperature and then put it in your refrigerator. Best if you cover each one with a little piece of saran wrap quite tightly. Let it refrigerate at least four hours. And I've done some in advance. We've finished one for you here, but what we've done is we've taken an orange, cut the top off, the bottom off, peeled it with a serrated knife, and then we cut in between those lines. This is called filleting an orange, and this is what you receive. These are little orange fillets, and they're really tasty, but they have none of the membrane so that it's just going to sort of like coat the palate. And this will be nice and starkly refreshing and cut some of the wonderful richness of your panna cotta, which is going to be very quite rich. Once we have it at this point, we take a little bit of cinnamon sugar just to bring out the sweetness of the orange. And of course, the proof is in the pudding. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. That's awfully good. Mm. It was. It was so, so good. Now, you can make it yourself. He just showed you how easy it is. Or you can just go to Kohler on Mother's Day. It'll be part of the brunch at the American Club in the Grand Hall of the Great Lakes. It's from 10 to 3. And for more information, go to fox11online.com.